All right, fellow mates, Coach RG once again. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we will talk about recommendations of National Cargo Bureau. As I have told you that when you have that grain loading booklet from United States, you have to explore or read it in order for you to advance yourself and practically speaking, you will get through the samples and recommendations cited in that booklet. But today, I will discuss a few things about an excerpt or sample that found in the NCB booklet. And I am going to share this to you, this graphical form that we can find in the grain loading manual okay now when you open your grain loading manual try to study and examine and the graphical okay, uh, pages that shows like this in each cargo home because if you decide to put a partially filled cargo hold and you need to do it like this as an example i will help you understand how these lines are graphical on in um, horizontal and vertical axis works in the measurement of volumetric healing moment the kg and your volume and of course when you have the volume your kg you have to found to find your allage vice versa now to give you the brief explanations as you can see this line okay we have three lines here we have a curve line that represent volumetric healing moment this line represents the volume up to maximum only for this cargo hold. KH cargo hold have different maximum volume, but it is um, okay. Shows here that the maximum is 10,926 cubic meter. But in the page, you cannot find these examples, okay, figures here. This is only in, to help you understand. The other line, which is kg, maximum will be 9.89. You can find that in the table as well. Okay. And the last one will be, okay, I already mentioned the three of these lines. We have volumetric healing moment, 1496, the maximum, full and trim. Or we have also tables shows trim and untrim figures for M4. When we say M4, that is volumetric healing moment. Now, because you already prepared a plan, cargo in each cargo home, you have already estimate volume of the cargo. Now, once you have estimate volume of the cargo, even you are not going to measure it manually or actual measurement. As long as you have the sure figure, you can easily, um, okay, you know, find through this vertical and horizontal axis how it works. For example, you have a given, for example, with 7412 cubic meter as per your plan or uh, estimate to provide from the shore scale, for example then you only need to go through with this measurement here okay you have 7412 this is 6000 7000 and 8000 in the middle and a little bit forward or ahead you estimate the 400 the middle is 500 you just estimate here and then you go vertically up you're going to touch the volume line okay the volume line is touching here 
and then you get a ruler and then you horizontally make a line and in this column here which is the alleged from top of a hatch coming in meters then you have the alleged 8.6 okay and if you go through to the depth of the trunk under the scale you have also that um, almost 10 or 9.4 tip okay and so for power only focusing on the, your alleged that is the relationship once you have the volume you are touching the okay and you touch this line and then you go horizontally line and you will have the alleged now because you have already the alleged okay once you are touching here okay because your line is touching here okay your volume and your alleged it is also touching in this line which is volumetric healing moment okay and then you measure or you use your ruler and then make a line vertically and then you will get your measurement on your volumetric healing moment which is about um, this is one four no this is 14 oh 12 12,500 okay 11 12 13 14 15 so you have in the middle between 12 and 13 and you will have m4 12500 you get it okay now when it comes to kg 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 okay the lines run here also touching the point of kg here and you need also to write or use your ruler vertically down below in the middle scale of the kg which is this one 7 1 28 okay between 7 and 8 then you have 7.28 and this is how the graph of this drawing works as well or once you know the the graphical or the how you use this graph then there's no need to proceed to the you know standard table you have already the estimate one okay now in that case you have all the details that you're going to prepare for your ncb form okay from the cargo hold number four which is the partly filled compartment and the rest of the cargo are full okay i'll show you also the volumetric healing of the 100% which is like this cargo holds grain data for example we have filled in trim and filled in and trim now most of the time in my experience only filled and trim in we always use okay because the cargo coa was loaded with a normal spout without trimming okay as long as the hot cover or from the co of to the top of the combing already feel full and that's the time we stop the loading that is considered 100 percent but the volumetric heli moment little bit higher compared to filled in stream okay see that so if this is cargo hold number four partly filled we have 12,500 here and then you add all this volumetric healing moment here and the total will be compared to your maximum allowable which is like this now this is the table of maximum allowable healing moments then displacement as far as your vessel concern and the kg and once you have less 
a volumetric healing moon to the allowable healing moment, then you are fine and you are okay. Okay? Even you carry out the calculations on the green hill or the angle of hill through the data that you can find from the maximum and allowable and so forth, we have a formula there in the NCB. Okay, now this is a very quick presentation the relationship between maximum allowable okay moments and your total volumetric healing moment here. Now we have partially filled here or more figures or more quantity you can provide for your volumetric healing moment here. Okay, and you can also find the specific partly filled compartment, for example, that I explained already here okay and this is a practical way okay you have to know in your grain loading manual i hope when you once you've done that you will be familiar and you go through to the ncp form and of course with the help of the ludicator you can find the details of your liquid okay uh, m4 or the free surface effect you can watch that my videos on my previous videos how we can utilize the ludicator to uh, complete the ncb form all right so this is the ncb or the green loading booklet and i hope that you are able to learn from that simple and direct to the point explanations all right thank you for watching bye